covering the week's top tech stories with a slight Linux bias. Seven years ago, Facebook claimed not to support the 21st century's new favorite communication tool, the animated GIF. Oh, how times have changed. Now, Facebook's newest acquisition is one of the Internet's most popular GIF hosting sites. Facebook is making Jiffy part of the Instagram team. The deal is reportedly valued at about $400 million. According to Facebook, about half of Jiffy's current traffic already comes from Facebook products, especially Instagram. That's perhaps unsurprising given that Facebook's big three apps, WhatsApp, Instagram and Facebook itself, have billions of daily users among them. Jiffy was, in fact, the first service to make animated images work on Facebook. It created a workaround back in 2013 when Facebook's now laughable official stance was, Facebook does not support animated GIFs. Although animated reaction images may seem, and kind of are, inconsequential in the grand scheme of things, the deal is likely to attract a significant amount of scrutiny from federal regulators. The Justice Department, Congress, and the Federal Trade Commission are already all delving into even the smallest, lowest value acquisitions that big tech firms such as Facebook have made in the last decade, scoring them for patterns of anti-competitive behavior. Jiffy is by no means the only GIF search and hosting platform on the internet, but it is one of the largest. Several other platforms, including Twitter, use its API for GIF support. Both Facebook and Jiffy promised the access will continue. In its announcement, Jiffy specifically said, For our API SDK partners and developers, Jiffy's GIFs, stickers, emojis, etc. aren't going anywhere. We will continue to make Jiffy openly available to the wider ecosystem. With the announcements fail what the announcements failed to mention, however, is the fact that Facebook can now have access to all the data generated by those searches and API calls from other platforms. And using acquisitions to gather data on competitors is exactly the sort of behavior Facebook is under investigation for right now.